I see the people, I won't sell me because uh, all this one way that they talk, I don't understand. Oh, no, 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 no. We cannot say go say and put me up for sale for oh, wow. no, no, say, no, say no, make, TV, make, no, make people no, they no, beat. No, 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 I don't you know, know of any know, other person, no, but for me, you know, say, you know, say, Baba, you, you know, say, then wait, you wait, 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 Baba. No, sorry. You don't know, say, you don't know, say, security matter now. Yeah. He get as a bo. Not no, now. So see, but see, we don't play. Wait. I won't talk. We do, don't talk anything. Who be your Baba? They don't talk to anybody. No friend, no fool for this one. I know. They say small picking. Even I hope they don't be saying that one sell me. No, even if small picking climb three, no go feel sweating adults. They see, so you could not see ahead of us. Oh, I could just you know what I will not go say. You could just go straight into the matter. What you gonna do now? To they break the story, then one after the other. And I will go get visit on Kujimi Jimmy this too. they use wisdom, they follow him. This first one got to do with matter where they affect everybody inside the border Nigeria. In fact. This did not come down to a Nigerian problem. Mm. When they talk about building collapse. Mm. Now, this week, the Lagos State government, they carry red eye, enter inside Banana Island. Banana Island now, what we call highbrow area. Mm. Now, place where we say big people they live. If you not even see the building, if you not even see the interlock for the streets, you're gonna say this will not be ordinary place. Now, what did they go do there? They say get some illegal structures, some structure where they build without permission. You know, suppose they're there. They can carry bulldozers and enter. Boom, 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 boom. Then they follow those things. People go come, come, they talk, say, ah, what did make Lagos State government go do this one? Make we break them down. Around uh, over a week ago, for inside that same banana island, they get one seven-story building. Where they said then they build way fall. We go put the video on top of our screen as they talk now. Make we see them. This one not be free more. Uh -huh. Now what did they the screen? So just they watch as you they watch now. This place where you see fine, fine building. When you see uncompleted building for the back, when the black some people stand on top. Now he don't the fall he don't the fall he don't the fall he don't the fall he fall like biscuits. When they soak inside water, this thing now, seven story building, when for so. Now he make the Lagos State government verse, enter Banana Island talk, say any illegal structure must go. Now, hold that over one week ago. Over a year ago, for inside Ikoi, Ikoi in a place where we say big, big people they live. 22 story building, when person they build, that one too also fall. People come come the talk, say, what did they happen exactly? Where we say for this big man area, where planning day, where people are day, all this kind of building going for Mona Siamo, that's the one I see so where I say they pack sand for one corner. Now 22 story building went big. Now in Krobu, so where plenty of people die. Now the Lagos State Governor don't come and come talk, say the developers, now those people now then they cause this problem. Say some of them, after they give their permission, they will go do another thing. People call the talk, say, wait, who they give permission? Now, as you give the person permission, you they inspect to see, say, the person do the thing well. Shall we go find lasting solution to the problem of building collapse for Lagos and across Nigeria? Uncle Jimmy Disu, now he go answer that question. Uncle Jerry, over to you. As a Lagos boy, I remember say, when I've been listening to you, when you go to talk for radio, he get one building when you they talk about. He be like, say, you they talk about bending tower, I be like, uh, uh, swinging that one house where you complain, say mm -hmm. the house be like say for bank for, for bank boche, leaning, yeah. tower. Mm. leaning tower building when we say they be like say they mm. bow down if breeze blow I'm gonna bow okay, down make a make a make a go straight cut to the time no be a friend mm. see the people where they cost this thing that the Lagos State government mm. we refuse to assert the law. Mm. I want you to tell me, as you don't hear, one person that has been identified as the owner of any of these buildings, apart from the one where the person died inside. Mm. You go there, ask them. One time we asked the commissioner for information. Who owned all these buildings? He they laugh for program. He not talk. All the time when governor go, they talk say, and this building has gone down. We will change them. We will set up inquiry. The name of the person, the culprit, is usually hidden. I challenge them to name people who have been prosecuted. And the owner of the building is very easy to identify. Go to your land registry and find out who owns the land. Nana go tell us. That is why people are bold enough to keep repeating this exercise. Secondly, the people who get these things are the elites. Mm. They are big they're the elites, they are mm. big people. But the people where they die inside plenty, not be the elites. I lost, I lost a son in that Ikoyi building. Mm. He went there to work, Aye. to earn his day's pay. As I, as I speak to you, I am still traumatized on the death of that guy 
a, a, a year plus ago. If not be said the owner of that building died inside that building, you will not know who you are dealing with. Die. The one way fall for Oniru, they don't tell you you get them. All the buildings, this one way fall for, 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 Banana Island. for Banana Island. Do you know the owner? Yet the government opens its eyes and lets this thing come. When you have laws in land, you must look for somebody to use as an example. The Lagos State has not done that. They are shielding these people. Uncle Jedi, they're the only Wait, thing. let so, me finish. Sorry, they are shielding these people. What is even more painful is that most of these people build these houses for other people to live in. Developer. Developer. Not be just developer, but most of them build this house. If you look at the houses, how many personal houses have gone down? Mm. Mm. How many houses belonging to Chief this or Dr. Mm. That or this politician where he built his own mansion that has gone down? Mm. It shows you the wickedness of a lot of our elites. Have you heard their personal houses go down? No. no. It's the one in which you put people. I don't want to use the word luckily, but I use it reservedly. That usually these houses go down before cons the construction finishes. Mm. It doesn't mean that some houses will still not go down. Mm. If it's been if that's not the that, that's wow. the house could have been finished. Aye. People would have been fully down. occupied and, and some go, go, go down. Sorry. Aye. Aye. So it is a self-inflicted injury. And until we have the other day, some soldiers went and beat up all the, the, the traffic wardens inside in, in Corsair. The governor said, government said it has been amicably settled. Until we have a government that is ready. Because when you put in laws, you must show people that you are willing to follow the whatever to the last letter. Very true. And, no, and whoever's ox is God. Very true. These buildings keep coming down. Nobody tells us who owns them. Name and shape. By the time you begin to name and shape, people, people will be a bit more reserved. And like I told you, what is most painful is that it is the houses for other people to live in mm. that it happens. It's because we don't have a regard for human lives. Mm. Our elites, a lot of our elites are terrible people. They are wicked. They are wicked. How can you put up four, five-story buildings, you don't follow the simple laws, and you want people to go and live inside? I have also suggested that, look, do not let us deceive ourselves that we have a knowledge that we do not have. The Lagos State government should register what you call grade A companies. Mm. Companies that have reputation, Julius Baga, Costain, Kappa, Dalbato, to say, look, if you are going beyond three floors or four floors, mm. it must be any of these companies. Mm. If you want to get involved in re real estate at the higher level, you must be ready to pay for it. True. It's the same attitude we have to, towards transportation. The government is interested more in, in, in protecting the people who invest in transportation and are not doing it right than interested in the, in, 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 in the life of the public. Mm. How can any government open its eyes and see people entering the kind of downfalls that people are entering? It's something that if you, if you turned up in other countries, you cannot even use it to carry goats. Mm. But they keep protecting. Was it not the same government of Lagos State one time that was able to face Admiral Lue? Mm -hmm. How many buildings went down mm. in the days of that governor that he was able to assert himself? We had the governor once. Because if I mention the name, then they go say, he don't come again. But we had the governor once. Okay, his name is Fatula. He was able to assert himself. That's true. I mean, are we going to go through another four years of this? Uncle Jedi, not best, eh? The governor, Papa Jide Sawolu, in being talk say that they do their investigation and they don't identify. before you do investigation i'm not going to be i'm nobody go bobo me with that one before you do the investor tell us the name of the person in whose name the mm -hmm. land is registered he said a developer and what is his name what is the name you have a land registry yes look if you want to do this thing do it. if you don't want to do it leave us leave us to our own devices mm. then we will know what to do the Look, we live in very modern times. Mm. Okay, we live mm. in very modern times, and you can see you can see the results of people awareness. Very true. In the incident that happened, if nobody say what happened, we know. At least now they should get a feel of what people feel about these things. Mm. It, 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 it's 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 you know we are talking about human rights. Do you know what it is for me to have lost a son in that thing? 
Yeah, Uncle Jedi, now may God rest the soul of all the people who be say, uh, cry for this kind of badness. Mm. Any badness will be say, we feel prevent. It's not good, make with the. The governor, needs, the governor needs to sit up and do the needful. We will confront him on this because it is our own children that are dying in these things. Very true. So, whether not the governor of Lagos State, the governor of Enugu State, the governor of Kano State, anywhere inside of Bodo, Nigeria, this kind of thing is not supposed to happen. But we need to do the right things first so that they don't go be saying that when it don't happen, we'll come to say one day demolish illegal buildings. When we go this break, come back, we'll continue our discussion. This first one, when I say don't come up plenty fire, now what we tell them, I say on Fridays, I see the earth, they are special. No go anywhere with the combat. Talk about that. You have to take the they will seal up their ear. Once they seal up their ear, they will go back to sleep. Hello and welcome to the show. Now, better talk with this. <laughs> From nowhere, come they sing, did they rush? <laughs> That's not what that rush is in Nigeria. <laughs> Once you just marry or anything, you know, say now nah, you don't get married, you know, feel they wear that kind of thing. You know, go just the way. I'm not old. They're going to make you see plenty of women outside where we say they don't get home training. Election. Now, what's like the talk? Say, mistake day, make me admit, say, some mistake day, I look for a way to get better. Now, better women, they just show. If you educate a woman, you're educating the nation. And for other people, this life is very hard. Don't be the source of another person's problem. Single ladies, when they live in their papa and mama house, share them be wife material. It may to happen. Hello, daddy. <laughs> Even me, I go ask, I say, which kind of problematic family do you have? <laughs> <laughs> so don't miss us too much yes. because before you blink like this, we don't we are back. back for you. <laughs> <laughs> Better Talk, showing Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday on Top of Zubia Max TV. You get front, you get back. What? You've got big <laughs> smile. You know, and I believe say you should be cooked. Put on me, shimmy. Kushemi, me, the Mokotim of Sofu. Kutu Bay. Kilolish she for like me, Timu, be too big. Come on, be to bow. No, me understand that you are already enjoyed it that I made the dying drew. So, can you tell me she fell yato? Show the water and so on, why you have been ready? Unlight it to your wall or parabi me, judging. Hey, you're not a me. I'm on your local photo, my filler. You won't see your pain, my big Jamie. Every day, plenty, plenty things they happen for this our country. But on top of politics and leadership, now there are plenty matter day to settle. Waiting, government, they talk. And the one where politicians come, they do so. On top of the matter, as they take affect country people, now there we don't carry on and enter inside, so. Cocoa, Cocoa of, of the matter. Politicians, experts, and our leaders, they go touch like the matter give us. Yousef, go chook mouth, talk your own. For Cocoa of the matter. Cocoa of the matter. Showing Tuesdays and Thursdays, 7 p.m. on Mazopia Max TV. Every day, Plenty, plenty things. Good do morning, Niger. Now, wow, things they happen oh, every day. Now, from one to the other. Mm. And then uh, these things they happen for our eyes. <laughs> but we not go tired to talk her as we see her. Our entertainment to you call. You know the means to react. And even for sports. Not be only sports. We they give you correct information. We go help you run your business matter. But wait to. Oh. To re suppose they rely on is supposed to carry better truth, somebody. Not in the ear. They will seal up their ear. Once they seal up their ear, they will go back to sleep. You've all seen the the extent of um, what I will call unapproved extension into the water um, at the back of, of each of the land that is abutting a water. Um, you can see that the, the original line for Banana Island is even not where we are. It's way in front there. And you can see that there's been several, several um, extensions that have been granted um, by both the Federal Ministry of Works, you know, Housing and NIWA. 
These are the two federal agencies that have been culpable for those extensions. Um, they've done these extensions even without our knowledge. And we have responsibility for building approvals and rest of it. And from what I've been told, um, all of the four buildings at the back, uh, they never even applied for approvals. Uh, and it shows sometimes how irresponsible, you know, both um, developers, some of our citizens that just want to make quick money, and of course, our own officers who are also not alive to their responsibility. Legality is, is real, and so that's why we're going around other properties in Banana. Um, the excuses have been given that you don't have access and rest, it's not acceptable. This is a total recklessness of all of the developers, and we will make a strong point out of this place and all around Banana and other developments that we'll have. And the officers that we also found culpable with. Welcome back. The program still remains um, as it is hot. And of course, uh, we don't search in our first story and not see the first story. Now, now see the footage uh, where the governor of Lagos State um, um, looked the matter. What happened? They, they demolished them. Um, video happened for Banana Island. Can't say, huh, this matter, well, it has to stop. And they get one particular time where you, you say, now nah, recklessness on the side of um, the developers. And um, of course, um, we don't hear them. But we could still bring them to Uncle Jedi. Uncle Jedi, you don't hear what the governor talk. And looking at this statement where choice of words where you say this kind of thing has to stop and they also need to also step up their own action to make sure say they put an end to all this kind of recklessness when they happen. Which is, which the, is governor, the governor explained to the gallery. Oh. I'm not fooled. So this kind of building was going up in his state and he will tell me his officials didn't know about it. He's telling us that it was even built on an illegal extension. His officials that have been making the rounds in Banana Island and all the, the highbrow areas, they didn't know. So if that building hadn't come down, that's how it would have gone up and, 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 and it would be part of the status quo. Hmm. The governor should come and tell me, how many of his own people has he prosecuted? Hmm. Hmm. The people where all this, this is, the governor is playing to the gallery. In a way, it's not his fault. He just has to learn to be a man. Hmm. And I'm not trying to bring him down. When I say be a man, he needs to face the people who, he, I don't know whether they are his supporters or whatever, but this is high class. These are high class people, highly influential. Mm. If you don't confront them, they will ruin you. Mm. That's the message that I have for him. Mm. If, you don't forget, if you don't confront them, they will ruin your own reputation. Mm. So he needs to get up and decide to be, and decide to govern. And to say to them, I'm sorry, because that's what his predecessor did. Mm. Yes. Yes, and now that he, at least in the interim he has gotten a second term, we expect no excuses. Mm. By now he should have been giving us names of people that will be handed over to the police. Mm. The least he can do is tell us the owner of the building. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The least he can do is to announce the names of those who gave certain approvals. The least he can do is to show us those who are involved in neglect. Mm. We thank the good Lord nobody died in this thing, yes. but we are not even sure yet. Mm. And one life loss is a disaster to mm. any nation mm. under this circumstance. Mm. After this incident, you remember another one happened in Apapa? Mm. Yes. Only God knows how many you hear of in this rainy season Aye. before the end of August. Aye. Aye. Um, Uncle Jay, the book will enter straight into the next story, and this next story, they come from Amo State. And uh, you got a particular footage we um, go around them um, for social media, where um, six officers, um, where they show them the uh, harass and um, assault um, two young men, them, and um, with cutlasses, as a matter of fact. Not just say that they assault them, but they assault them with cutlasses, they take cutlasses, they beat them and wipe them out and all that. When well, at the footage, now at the sea, so. And from that particular footage, you know, the sea, so now go see, now the policemen are then wear blacks. Now go see cutlasses for their hand, whether they harass uh, two young men. This one are one of the boys, whether they harass. That the other one, though, that one not today is visible. But it is clear say that two people, according to confirmation, now that they harass. Tell they struggle with them. And then um, the news also come the, as a comment for social media, where people come, they react to them. Uh, the spokesperson of uh, the police, uh, where be Ulumiwa at the job, he don't come and talk, say, see, we don't see our information, we don't see everything. Say, those six policemen, say they no go go, say, if, as a matter of fact, say they no go free at all. Say they go make sure say they punish them for this particular embarrassment and disgrace what they, they give Nigeria police force. And you can also come and come, we show out their names. You can't talk, say, their leader in name now, Inspector Amadi Sunday, and I actually lead them come. You can also get um, Inspector Amadi um, Charles. You can also get Sergeant, um, Sergeant 
no, no Chian, uh, Chinese, um, Congress Sergeant Onwoka Emmanuel, CPL Nzemudu, goodness, and Emmanuel Chimezi. All these are the six um, officers we actually they involved for that particular footage when I see. They use matches. When I mean matches, cutlass, cutlass. They take harass and assault people overweighting, say they won't check phone. I'll be waiting. In fact, I don't even understand. So, um, now don't say, um, uh, Uncle Jedi. We, we don't see what they happen right now. We don't see um, the drama where they actually happen. Over time, each of these dramas, they play out. Uh, we, say we will get cases of police uh, with, uh, you know, with uh, citizens. And in the long run, we will overlook them. Another one will happen. And we also see cases where we say, spokesperson or perhaps the idea of police don't give instructive, give directed. Say this, you know, it is forbidden. And yet, even while it is forbidden, the boys wasting day for street will be police boys. They see they carry them out. Is it that there is no sincerity of purpose for this particular issue when it comes to the directives given to police on how to handle citizens? I mean, I just say, um, people, this one, they call their shot or got the call your own shot. What exactly is the okay, problem? Okay, let me, let me, first of all, I think the task before the IG is to do a proper investigation. Mm. Okay? You know, use all the powers within him to find out if people who are already gang members are jo joining the police force en masse, mm -hmm. or it is when they join that they now create fraternities. Create fraternities. Mm. All the names you called in that group belong to one ethnic group. Yes. Could it be that they were a gang of activists or whatever who joined the police force trying to rake in a living and mm. are ready to live in one or two years? Because he will say, pata pata na dismissal. Mm. That is one. I feel empathy for Moiwa Adejobi. He's going to be spending the rest of his career as police payroll. Every showing people who are being dismissed. The ranked, and, dismissed. And, so the ranked and dismissed. That in itself is embarrassing. But I think they think they want to do that as a deterrent. Apparently, it's not working. Hmm. Because last week we still discussed we still discuss whether the rank yes. and you, you I will refer people to last week's program in which I explained the you know the basic whatever that the police look at the uniform that Ajayjobi wore in this one now hmm. to announce what is he's wearing camouflage with wrong camouflage that the police force itself is in disarray. Last week we saw about five uh, different. This was from, yeah, from last five week. Five uniform. This is what I think is the uniform. I don't even know myself. <laughs> the one is wearing uniform, but the one in which he made this announcement, he, 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 he that's the police PRO. What I grew up to know in policing is that, and any uniform, is that you have number one uniform, number two, number three. Meaning you have uniform for your day-to-day -day work. Yes. You have uniform formal. Uh, uh, uniform, and then you have uniform for ceremonial, for ceremonial and, and whatever. What we have, the last time we counted was five different ones, and he's not even dressed appropriately for his role here as a police spokesperson. Hmm. If they can show us that video that, of, that, okay. of, of when he was announcing the sack of this Muiwa, the video has gone uh, viral. Hmm. He was dressed and put on a funny police hat. Where I'm going is to where I was last week, that the police needs a different restructuring entirely. The system has broken down. You cannot be doing this every... Because you cannot be doing this, sending this to us every month. It's of very little benefit. That's mm -hmm. why I said you want to find out. Did these gangs go in for two years operation in the police, make their money? Because there's a lot of money to be made. Mm. Now, the other story that we usually hear true or false are, oh, maybe some DPOs also make money from these things. Mm. It's worth investigating. It is worth investigating. That is also, uh, look at, the other time it was in black, now this is blue. Different then. Okay, two, these two uniforms look okay. I, I don't mind them, but you must have only one uniform. I must be able to identify a policeman from, a New York policeman is always in black. It's always in black. You know the uniform. Yes. The UK police is in black. I think it's black and white. Here yeah, you have different uniforms. Some even wear t shirt and rubber slippers. They go see now undercover. You cannot be undercover and carrying an assault weapon. Mm. 
The only time you see the FBI in that kind of dress like this is when they are going on operation and they're going in a group. You're not going to find somebody undercover carrying an AK-47 on the streets sleepers. of New York. So from, from, the, from that, this is, is the little things that show up the big things. The police needs a complete overhaul. You will see that you hardly have this problem in the army. Mm. Because the army is unified. And this simple thing of uniform, the army, when they are going on combat, they put on camouflage. Mm -hmm. If they are not going on combat, they put on the green, green uniform. Mm -hmm. Did you understand? The other mm -hmm. day I saw somebody with his trousers rolled up with flip-flops in traffic. He was just walking up and down. I was saying, I, was, I read all the stuff that I could read in God, though. I said, not true. How am I sure it's a policeman? Mm. Mm. How? I don't so, the, the way when they, they even they go with this thing, we, police go soon finish you. Because the people are saying that every week. Because, you see, you have, also, you have also turned the police uh, force inadvertently into an elitist force. What do I mean by that? Okay. You have a large number that are involved in VIP protection. They look like a privileged class. Mm. So all fingers are not equal. A, a, a sergeant in, in the elitist core is much better than an officer who sits in, in mm. headquarters. If care is not taking his one by foot for him. Mm. Mm. And you know, last week we talked about the welfare of the police, mm -hmm. their training. This thing is not enough to keep. By the time you are throwing people out, one day we will find somebody who will throw out the IG. Mm. I don't mean him in person, mm. but I'm just saying. Very true. Uh -oh. You know, so government, sorry to cut you no short. problem. Government must make up his mind, A, what he wants to do with police, mm. the kind of police force that he needs. Mm. The police force needs a complete overhaul, overhaul. beginning from the simple things. Teach them properly. Give them good welfare. If you treat them as, as human beings, they will behave as human beings. Very true. If you treat them rough, they will be very rough. Very true. How can you have a policeman who is angry with society? Hmm. It no go good, though. The results go bad. Uncle Jerry, uh, thank you very much for the way where you take break this story down. I did very sure say people when they have, they go, they nod their head, they say, yes, yes, you they talk the truth and we are learning. Look, we move to the next story. Uh, this next story, uh, na, 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 na good news. Because uh, many of our brothers and sisters went there for inside Sudan, where war they currently happen now, uh, to the glory of God, uh, they go down, they come back to inside Obodo, Nigeria. We feel confirmed, say some don't leave Khartoum, the capital of Sudan, enter inside Egypt. From there, where we said they will begin to carry them come. And Madam Abike, they have been in the, the screen, so, and now uh, some of the buses where we said they use move our Nigerian students and some other people when they stranded for inside the Sudanese capital and other parts of uh, Sudan come out so that they will finally come back into Obodo, Nigeria. And some people been they talk say, ha, this one when we say, we see videos of Nigerians. If I met my brother, Uncle B, we'll be playing the video mm -hmm. on Monday where we vex. We play that video like five times. We vex. We say, how we be say, until people make video, they complain, say, ah, nothing for them, oh, then they suffer out. Some of them use their legs, we can reach uh, Ethiopia border. Ethiopia said they don't go and let them pass. What did they happen exactly? How would they be protect them? But the good news we won't give you now. No need to talk too much now. Say the government don't swing into action. And according to the information, we get the ones where we say don't they come back to Nigeria. They go first go Egypt, then they go come back. But we get the ones who don't they come back. Hopefully, then go they reunited with their families and while and no go day. Anything we concern this story, if updates come, we'll continue to the give you now. But we'll just enter the next one so that Uncle JD will continue to the break them down, they go. Okay, straight up into the next one. And this one they come from, um, that is that the meeting where the National, um, that the National Economic Council, uh, where they are hold. And then, um, of course, um, the Minister of Finance, uh, that is uh, Mrs. Zena Bamed, don't come out to disclose, say, the matter will consign um, subsidy, subsidy removal, say, for now, they go put them, they go put them on hold. Hey. And to say yes, so they say they go put them on hold till June, till June. Cause say uh, they will just suspend them for now till June. And she talked this thing for the uh, for the executive meeting where uh, the vice president preside. Uh, they come and say, look, uh, make we leave them for the incoming government. Maybe they know how they will take handle the matter. Say for now, say they know that they are matter hand again. Because the initial plan was to ensure, say, they come out, they remove the subsidy before President Mohamed Buhari come out from state. But right now, they say till June, the incoming government, now they go know the decision where they will take about them. So looking at this now, um, of course, we, 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 uh, we will be faced with this particular subsidy issue. And we don't see how it don't drag over time. Looking at the facts, see, 
the seasons of uh, scarcity in fuel and how it take affect people, why the blame is channeled to subsidy, removal, and scarcity, and a lot of other reasons. But with this particular thing, where we say, where the minister don't talk right now, say, okay, say, back the liver for the incoming government. So, is it that on the outside, they're trying to place it so that they don't go probably fall in the hands of the Nigerians as bad people, or they just want to say, okay, we're almost out of the system. Let the incoming government know what they will do on this. Well, first of all, you know, you know this man not lets me comment on the Sudan thing. I just want to beg one minute. Okay, okay. No okay. problem on that Sudan thing. Um, because, okay, so we were all focused on the Nigeria operations, thankfully, with all the hitches that could have been avoided mm. with their through. But the question is, what lesson are we going to learn? Mm. Okay, so, okay, so there is Wahala in Sudan. Nigerians now want to move to Ethiopia so that they can fly back home. Mm. Supposing there is a problem in Nigeria, where do you go? Ah. Because the problems that precipitated, the issues that precipitated the problem in Sudan mm. are with us now. We cannot pretend. We cannot pretend. What we have as we speak now is called the silence of the graveyard. Mm. Because the truth is that Nigerians have found themselves in a position, a lot of them, that they cannot even explain. If anybody thinks that Nigeria is at peace, that person is not telling us the truth. We have what we call the peace of the graveyard mm. because of the various incidents that took place. Oh, did you think it would be washed away? It will not. So unless we confront the various problems that have been precipitated, both the ones from far and near, unless we do that, if we will just be waiting for the evil day, mm. And I'm not doing it, I'm not predicting bad. Mm. I'm just telling people the truth. There is no time you will not need, at the very least, a kind of truth commission mm. where people can express themselves and we will sit back and apologize to each other for the harm we have done. Mm. Nobody, Nigeria is not at peace at all. So you ask yourself, if your child is, is in Sudan, is able to escape by bus provided by federal government, Blah, blah, blah. If your child is doing youth call in Kano, how do you get him to Lagos? Mm. Mm. That is why all of us need to go back, especially the people in power who have brought us to this problem, the politicians. We need to go back and amend all the things that have happened before it blows up in our face. You and I both know we are in the news. We know all the various undercurrents, mm. how people are. We also know that the, the level of poverty is becoming unbearing. Mm. And that now leads me to this story you asked about subsidy. Mm -hmm. When Buhari was going to take government eight years ago, he made us realize that we all knew that this subsidy thing was a racket. Yet for eight years, he continued with it. He now wants to shift the responsibility someone else to someone else whose entry is not anywhere near his own whose acceptab acceptability is not anywhere near his own i tell you my brother it's not a banana pill it is an atomic bomb that could explode because the new government coming in is going to come in at a time when its leadership is even being contested and therefore will be tested. Excuse my pun. You know what I call mm. pun? If the leadership itself is being contested mm. and therefore will be tested. Is it this government coming in that can handle the issue of removal? Remember, first of all, the subsidy is a rack. I don't know how anybody structured it that, oh, give us papers of your importation mm. and come and collect subsidy. Again, it is the elites. Mm. You cannot find any small man involved in all this. All your big boys, they ride jeep, they ride all these things. A lot of them, Thank you. that is where it's coming from. The people, all the elections that you see took place with the millions of dollars or whatever making the rounds. Do you think all of it is government money? No. No. Some of them, their reward 
is going to come from that root. So you see, unless our people start to hold these people by the jugular, I don't mean physically, mm -hmm. by the jugular, join the media, we begin to hold these people by the jugular. This is what this is food for the boy. Something this is food for the boys. That's what is producing a lot of billionaires and billionaires and this and that. It's a racket. Uncle J, I beg, no. So, bet. okay, sorry. So, sir. the question is that, first of all, the way Buhari, the Buhari government structured it, nobody does things like that. Mm -hmm. You first of all wanted to remove it in May. Mm -hmm. When you are going, you remove it and run away. Mm -hmm. Then you shifted it to June. Now, wisdom has told you that you should shift the responsibility to another government. But with every placid day, we are bleeding mm -hmm. from that place. Mm -hmm. Uncle yes. No, best. This matter of subsidy now, something we don't need to talk for a long time. And yes. like you mentioned, Oga, this Oga president been talk say nothing like subsidy, say na scam. It's scam. You don't explain say the thing na, na, na scam. But what it be the idea? The idea now say as that they bring the oil, uh, the fuel they come, so that the price no go go up. Yes. Then go pay some kind of money. Yes. But what it happen? Why our own refineries know they function? That is part of the problem. How could how can Buhari come and tell us how come the refineries were not at the optimum in eight years? And in Bimini, because if all and in Bimini, because if all your refineries were working, the issue of importation will not yes. be yes. it, is. it is a racket. Okay, Uncle Jedi, on that but question. It, it is a racket. Uncle Jedi, no best. On that question, before we go to the last one. This government being talked say they will collect eight hundred million dollars. So that when they come on subsidy. Then go use and cushion the effect. I want to ask you. How? Eh? You would decide. They go share and to like 50 million Nigerians. Nigerians. <laughs> Uncle Jed, I want to ask you that money. They don't, una don't share. Eh, sorry, no be una. Now, when they don't suspend subsidy, what will happen to that money? Because they don't collect that 800 million. They go keep them for fixed account until they agree what they want to use and do before. Because we don't, that, don't, don't forget that 800 million. Now, borrow, we borrow that money. Oh. Let me tell you something. When you hear in the Western world that they are going to give money to their citizens, yes, it is because there is a well-prepared and primed system by either as you pay your tax, mm -hmm. they have your details, or if you are on benefits, they have your details. Mm -hmm. So it, they are not going to prepare a new list like these people go to, like they do during the mm -hmm. show. Mm -hmm. they call them. This, this one, I've never seen the level of racketeering going on in Nigeria. I don't know who is going to stop this. Hmm. And you, these people that don't want you to develop, that, they are willing to loan you the money. Because guess what? They know the money is coming back. It not go this two months, the money will go back. Because waiting, they know say most of the money will be whacked. Hi. And go back. But you, your country will still be perpetually owing these people. Who does that? Let me use the words of uh, my good friend, Itwai Godalo. Who, do, who, who does that kind of that kind of who, what kind of thinking produces that? You don't have you don't have you, you, you don't have any system by which you are going to give the money back. Uh, the, 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 a lot of the underprivileged sometimes you don't even have a bank account. Why are you doing these things? Who did this to us? Jerry, this one reached to us. What the know? money from a common sense perspective, from a common sense, barring all other parameters. What a government should first of all be thinking of put money into fixing your refineries. Yes. Because when you have refineries, you can then say, look, this oil is usually it is mm. something dollars per mm. barrel. Mm -hmm. But for the refinery within Nigeria, we'll give it to you at 25. After all, now we get the oil. Mm -hmm. Yes. It, it's like running a restaurant from your house and then you say you are hungry. Mm. You can take part of the food. If we can take the crude, mm. minus our, even our OPEC allocation, seek accommodation. And then at least your people will have manageable CMS price. Mm. But no, you want to give us a you want to give us a body. And you are now looking at what the cost simple palate. Well, it's up to Nigerians. Mm. The issue of Nigeria now, it don't pass my level of thinking. Sure. Our people went there for house. As we lay our bed, so we lie on the Our people went there for house, eh? When they see at the Tori the hot, I'll be no wala. Make we enter inside the we'll go break, come back. We'll go just switch, enter the final gear. This last one tough. He <laughs> got to do with congratulation. Mm. We carry Bele. He mm. <laughs> carry Bele. And we go ask whether really and truly our Nigerian leaders for inside this country. 
They go feel use things when they inside this country. When we go this break up, I will continue our discussion. I see they are special with Uncle Jimmy. This will not go anywhere. Mm. Talk about that. They have to tell the government something to here. They will seal up their ear. Once they seal up their ear, they will go back to sleep. Hello everyone, you're welcome to Style 41 TV. And this is the first time we're gonna do an interview together. Oh, that's true. I have the designer Erica Moore here with you. <laughs> And here are my 411 style tips on how to stay fabulous. If I have five minutes to get ready for a movie premiere, what would I wear? Day. I'm opening my body tomorrow, I'm covering it up. But I like adventure. Right now, everything I'm wearing, down to the shoes, is, is from Nigeria. You're yeah, my kind of guy. <laughs> guys wear crop tops too. I do. Who are those guys? <laughs> Why are car pieces first of all? It was the demand. It was my least choice, to be honest. It's old. Thank you, please. <laughs> Tell us, what would you wear out to? On a date? <laughs> Romantically attracted to a client. <laughs> <laughs> All the fashion conversations you need to know, right here on Style 411 TV. Style 411 TV, showing Saturdays, 4 p.m. on Mazubia Max TV. What about your child? <laughs> What is wrong with you? Again, but in your own case, it's just dead babies. Obanje, Obanje, we're not about Obanje. You're more like sisters. Don't you think I'm the perfect person to marry your husband? Or you want all these girls to come and marry your husband? All they do is be done. Wait! I just want you to have a child. I'm sorry, please. It's exciting. Shopping voucher of fifty thousand naira for work. Yes. No shopping. This is a saving show. Yes. yes. It's three. We have an account balance of ten million three hundred and seventy thousand naira. It's suspenseful. Ooh. 30 seconds and count it. It's the Big Family Dream TV Game Show. 16 families go head to head to win a dream prize of a three bedroom apartment. This show right here is where all your dreams come to life. They have to manage a 10 million naira budget first. This is where the Wahala starts. The family with the highest balance wins. Who will win? Oh my day! Who will drop off? Find out of the Big Family Dream TV show. The Big Family Dream Game Show. Showing Sundays, 8 p.m. on Wazobia Max TV. Tell them we will talk about that. They have to tell the government something to that here. They will seal up their ear. Once they seal up their ear, they will go back to sleep. Welcome back to Asi The Hot. Here's the Kuchukuri Adun Kubide inside studio with Ogonge journalist Uncle Jimmy Disu. Asi The Hot special. That's what we do on Friday. We go knock the Tori one after the other, and Uncle Jerry go help us break the thing down so that all of us go learn. Today, that Tori where they come out smoke, we carry come. The first one, it got to do with the building when they demolish for inside the Banana Island illegal building. We play on the video of where the governor talks in a recklessness mm. on the part of the developers there. Now he calls this particular badness. So Uncle Jerry asks plenty questions. So I will believe these questions now. Many people will be said they house, then go also think about this question and everybody go reason the answer. Then the one we consign police, hey, every week night with the carry police matter come here. This will happen for inside Emo State. They'll be catch two boys. Mm. These five police officers, they use cutlass, machete, beat them, beat them, beat them. But the talk talk person of uh, police, Ogamu Iwade, Jobi don't come and say, we will not accept such behavior. Mm -hmm. And so the five of them, when they carry them, they come out their uniform, they wear black, black, they can't tell them what. And they say they go use them as scapegoats. We also tell them about the Nigerians when they all return from Sudan. And Uncle Jerry talks about it, talks about him. See Sudan, now example, oh, mm. Katakata, they happen there, Abi. They be, you don't run, you don't come back to Nigeria. If Katakata, they happen for Nigeria, and go, where you go, run, go. Very important question. Use your tongue to count your teeth. Then this last one, it's supposed to be breaking news. But some people, they talk, say, hey, some other things, they inside this news. The National Economic Council don't suspend subsidy remover. But 
our refineries, how far? This 800 million dollars, what they talk, say they will collect to use cushion the effects of subsidy remover. Where the money they? Who received the alert? Now, we enter the final one. And this final one got to do with uh, joint body of Nigeria where consign those where we say they be health workers, the Medical and Dental Consultants Association of Nigeria. They don't carry congratulatory message. Give the president elect and the vice president elect Ashiwajibola Ahmed Tinubu and Oga Kasim Shetima. They tell them, say, Una do well. Nigerians vote for Una because they believe, say, Una get the capacity to deliver. They can also talk, say, we know, say, the country where we say Una don't inherit or, or Una go inherit from May 29. Not be small country where we say division day. But we believe, say, Una go do everything Una do to see, say, Una save her. Then they get one strong message when they drop. That message, now come make our ears stand. They say they don't know, say, our health sector, the thing get K-leg. And so they won't call the president-elect. Say, making attention, they there. Anything when they feel do, making do up to see, say, our health sector, they very, very casual. Some people come, 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 and say, ah. <laughs> now this one, now you spoil the message. Mm -hmm. How many political office holders for inside this country go go our hospital if they're sick? Mm -hmm. They say, anybody when go try up, make the person come out, use Ogun swear. Say, he go go hospital for this Nigeria, if he body do and so on. They say, but they start to they deceive themselves. Say this, our leaders no care. Now, why they know they fix our health sector? Uncle Jenny, make I come back to you. A couple of weeks ago, we've been discussed Honorable Ghani Johnson. Mm. When come talk, say they won't put one law into place so that people will study uh, anything will concern health inside this country. They must work five years for a year before they travel abroad. Now, if lawmaker they talk this kind of thing for ordinary Nigerians, what if we go talk about our leaders when we say then they always travel abroad, go mm. receive treatment? No, be bad thing, say person go receive treatment. But if the people went there inside the country, they not get the opportunity. But you get the opportunity. It not means that you be a bad person. How you tell the, me this, the, the Honorable Lord Daniel Johnson. Daniel Johnson is supposed to they go Nigeria Info, I beg to differ. <laughs> because that is the level where that thinking belongs. I would have gone to university. The country would not dictate to me that I cannot go further. I cannot do for five years. Who does that? Where? They say they don't want me to do If they finish. are going to legislate, they should legislate also for the, the way they conduct themselves. Mm. Forget that one. This is an infantile thing. It doesn't bother me. What bothers me is, is the fact that there is no, I don't think uh, for now, you will have any Nigerian government that puts health in the front burner. Mm. Because their mindset is not there. Mm. In a country where people want to go and die, in London, so that you can put died in a London hospital. Kai. The thinking, that kind of thinking is not there. So don't let's deceive ourselves. Mm. We shouldn't deceive ourselves. We, we need to bring our expectations to a manageable level. And I'm surprised that the National Association of Doctors and whatever are playing games uh, with, with this thing. You know that the new president coming in, he has health challenges. He's known to everybody. You, I, I can't remember the last time he was seen in the general hospital in Nigeria or any of the big high uh, uh, private uh, hospitals. The, it is not in the mindset of, of our politicians, not even looking at the security implications. You know, mm. some of us who not sit down here in fear. You have a president-elect that has been seen by so many foreign doctors. We don't know what he has been injected with. We don't know. We don't know the kind of conspiracies that we have. We've had two presidents almost dying back to back in power in Nigeria. It doesn't bother us. Nelson Mandela never left South Africa for treatment. He didn't. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm. But the mindset is not there. So don't let me waste saliva and waste my head trying to think of, oh, the government should do this and they will not. Uncle Jedi, not best. They will not. Hey. The primary aim of most governments in Nigeria that I have seen the first one is to remain in power. Mm. The second one is to remain in power for the, their personal interests and the interests of their immediate, their immediate uh, constituency. Mm. Do, do you understand what I'm saying? The things you would hardly get is any concern on education, which mm. will make people more enlightened. Mm. They will not do that. The second one is health. What will you get? They will begin to build roads where you go past that you can see mm. and clap for them. That's the kind, you can see the attitude in governance, even at state level. Okay. In, in which country would the building go down and you wouldn't name the owner? Why is it so difficult to tell us this is the man who has been doing this? So don't let's, don't let's raise our expectations beyond, beyond what, what is actually going to happen. Make people not die of disappointment. It, it is going to be the same system. I challenge them.
It, there will be a lot of rhetoric, there will be a lot of propaganda, but your health services are not likely to, to, to improve okay. because they don't see it the way you and I see it. Mm. It is a matter of prestige. Don't you see the, the president's elect has come back, there's the people who are there at the airport to meet him. You, you need to know the mindset of most Nigerians who travel. It's an achievement. To even if you died yourself, make them talk, say he died in a medical hospital and something, something, this weekend, W2 stroke, this. It's, a, it's, it's an achievement. Well, Uncle Jedi, we go, we get to they go to place. Israel, they go to Dubai, all the countries of the world, all, you know. Uncle Jedi, no best. Two minutes time we get. But mm -hmm. I want to ask you, this mindset, how we go take correct time? We can't correct it. We can't. Ah. At that level, no. We can't correct it. They were born with it. Chai. You can't correct it. These people, Nigeria has refused to put forward its first, second, and third level. Hmm. Look at the thinking of our leaders now. Look at an honorable wanting to put a law that says that after I have gone to medical school. With your own money. With my own money. You will now tell me where it is done, I can tell you. Where it is done is if you take a government scholarship, the government paid throughout or a corporation paid, they will say, okay, to pay back, you should yes. come and serve us. Or if mm. you took a loan, neither of that. I will go to a private university. Some honorable will now come and proclaim a law that says that I cannot leave the country for five years. Does this sound right to you? Mm -hmm. Does this sound normal? Could you be nervous? If, if they want to look at reforms, should they not be making an example of themselves? Very true. Uncle Jenny Novel, now you get this handshake. Today, you carry fire in the inside studio, as usual. Our people went there for house. Friday, now always, I see the hot special. Damn. I see the other guest on name. But we go stick up Monday. We will stick up Wednesday. Yes. From 7 to 8 o'clock. All the action to the way they come on smoke inside Nigeria political boxing. Now we they discuss. The idea now so that all of us went inside this country. Anything we concern this country, the thing go they burn for our hearts. Mm. And we go also make our own contribution to make this our country better. Maybe we greet you now. Happy New Month in advance and happy Workers' Day. Mm. We'll come here on Monday to discuss the condition of Nigerian workers. More than peace before we sleep. Now good night. Wazobia Academy offers the best of both worlds and easily accessible and affordable training in your creative